In this video, we'll be seeing how to convert text to audio using OpenAI. Open this documentation URL and you can follow along. So here, we'll be scrolling to text to speech section. So you can see that here. And here we can see how to implement this. So this is a curl request to this API. So we simply have to pass these details. You can specify the model here and you can specify the voice type here. And then you can uh, give the input that is to be converted to audio. And the output will be an audio file. So you have to add this data to a file. So I'll be showing you how to do that. So here you can see what all audio you have. You have alloy, echo, Babel, etc. So you can refer this documentation and you can see that in detail so right now we'll be getting started with the implementation so you can copy this url from here so we'll be doing this in php you can follow along with any other code as well if you are going with curl this is a simple curl request you can do this almost in all languages you can do that so for python and node you are having sdks so you can use that so for now, we'll be using curl and we are going to implement this in PHP. So I have created a PHP file and here we can start PHP and create a variable URL and we can keep the URL that we just copied here. And the next thing we can create a variable data and we can make it an array and we have to pass model, voice and the input. So we can copy that from the documentation and you can paste it here. So we have to change this to this arrow and change here as well. Now we can give a semicolon at the end, give a semicolon here and that's it. So this is our data. Now we have to write a curl function to send this data as a post to this URL. Okay, so we'll be encoding this array to JSON and we'll be sending it. Here we can see that we have to pass bearer token for the authorization. So we have to get that from the dashboard. So let's go to the dashboard section and here you can go to this API keys. So you can see that here. Okay. So let's navigate to API keys and we can create a new secret key. So let's name it something. So let's keep it to test. And yeah, I'm not going to change the project. You can change the project and we are not going to give any restrictions right now so simply create the key and we can copy this key and done that's it so i'll be deleting this key soon after this video so this key will not be usable after this video and then we can paste that key somewhere here so we can create a variable api key and we can paste it here okay give a semicolon and that's it so we are having these three variables, URL, API key, and data. Now we simply have to create the curl function. We are not going to do this as a function. We are simply going to write it here. So we can open curl dollar ch equal to init curl, and you can pass the URL here itself, dollar URL. We have to set the content type and also pass the authorization token. So for that, we can call curl set options and uh, curl option http header so it is like curl opt and you can simply type http and next parameter you can pass an array so hope it was visible so i simply created an array here okay i will just redo that for you simply add array here and then we'll be passing the content type and then we can pass the authorization token so you can see the suggestions happening here so I'm using PHP Storm. So you can use any ID, that doesn't matter. Okay, and give a semicolon. So this is it. So we are passing the header and inside uh, that, we are passing the authorization token and also the content type. Now we can set the return transfer to true. Next, we can set it as a post request. You can set this as true. So now we are setting the request as a post then we can set the data so this suggestion here is correct 
So you can use that. So hope you can view this properly. So I'm just simply encoding the array that we have created here and we are passing that. Okay. And you have to use this option that is curl opt underscore post fields. Okay. And you have to pass the JSON string here. Now we can execute this one. So let's create a variable. Okay. Result equal to curl execute and pass the variable dollar ch. And we can close the curl as well. Okay. And in between, we have to open a file and we have to add the content to that. So we'll be using file put content, a function in PHP. Hope you are aware of that. Before that, we can check if an error happened during this curl request. So for that, we can use if curl error. So we can curl error in O and pass the variable. And if this is true, that means an error happened. So we can echo an error message here. Okay, now we are printing the error here. And in the else part, we can write the content to a file. So for that, we can simply specify a file path. Or you can simply start this file put content. File put contents. And inside that, we can specify the file name. That is, uh, so you can specify the path here, okay. So if you want it to be inside some other folder, you can specify it like this. Uh, folder name slash and the file name. So we are simply going to keep it inside the root directory. So output dot mp3. Okay. So if you refer the uh, documentation, you can see that uh, we are getting mp3 as the output. So you have to keep it to mp3. And then give a comma and we can uh, pass the result here. Dollar result. That's it. So we are putting all the content that we are getting from this API as a response to this file. And that means the response will be an MP3 file. So if you simply print that response, it will be some characters. You won't be able to understand it. So you have to put it to a file and you have to set the extension as MP3 and it will be a playable MP3 file. And after this, we can simply write a success message. That's it. So here, we are simply writing the content to this file, output.mp3, and we are printing this success message. That's it. After that, we can close the curl. So, hope you understand this one. It is a very simple script. You simply have to specify this data here. And the main thing is this URL, the API key, and then this one. We can change the model and the voice and the input accordingly. So, right now, we are going to keep it like this. So you can change the content according to what you want. So simply we are going to test it. And here we are writing the curl and passing the authorization token here. You have to set the content type as JSON. And that's it. We are specifying the post request to be true and passing the data here. We have to execute the curl and checking for errors and writing the content to the file. That's it. It's a very simple script. Hope you understand this one. And now we can run this script. So let me try to run this. So you can see the file saved to output.mp3. That means the request was successful and API worked. So let's go to our files and see if this file was created or not. So if you come back to your folder, you can see we are having a new file here. So we are having this output.mp3 added. So if you try to play this, it will play the audio that is generated. Today is a wonderful day to build something people love. So hope you heard the audio and it was created very quickly. It was a small text, though it was done very quickly. You can change the text according to your need and you can create the file. So hope you understand how to do this. You can come back to the documentation and scroll down a little bit and you can see audio quality option. And we can see this model that is TTS 1 HD. So if you're using this, you will be getting a better audio result. So you can try that also. So we can change this model to the new one. You can also change the file name here. So we can change it to something like output hd.mp3. You can change it here as well on the echo part. And now we can try running this one. So you can see 
file saved to output hyphen ht dot mp3 so right now the file will be created you can check the files and you can see output hyphen hd dot mp3 file is been added to our project directory i will also play this file also so you can uh, understand the difference today is a wonderful day to build something people love so hope you heard that one as well so the difference is slightly different so you can change the text to something larger to understand the difference properly so this one was a very short one so you can make this text much bigger and you will understand the difference uh, at certain times it will not be much different also and you can also try changing the voice and all you can refer the documentation for that you can come to the documentation section here and you can simply read this one there's a lot of options that you can work around so you can simply read this one and you are having a lot of voices available you can try that so hope you understand this video so if you have any doubt you can leave a comment below and i'll respond to them if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more such videos